What's up, Kyle gang? All right, so we got this statics problem here. We're trying to find the moment of inertia around the x-axis of this shape. And let's get started. So we're giving this equation, and the equation that we're gonna be using is the moment of inertia around the x-axis is equal to the integral of y squared over the area. So let's get started. So first of all, we wanna find out what dA is gonna be in this case. So usually dA, you could write as dA is equal to x dy or it could be y dx. But in this case, we're gonna do x dy because we're going, uh, we have this y squared already here and we wanna integrate with respect to y because it's gonna be easier in this case. Uh, so this is our equation, right? So we need to find out like what x is in this case. So dy is how much you know, up we're going. So this is dy, how far up, and then x is how far out we go from the x-axis, or from the y-axis. So this is x, and then this is dy, right? So our bounds of the integral are gonna go from wherever y starts to wherever y ends, and then x is gonna be whatever it is defined by this equation. But we need to make sure because x only goes from the, the, or, you know, the y-axis to the line. But we wanna multiply it by two to consider that it's on both sides of this, right? So it's over here and it's over here. So this is actually gonna be dA is equal to 2x dy because it's on both sides. So this is what we're gonna be plugging in. So y squared and then dA becomes 2x dy. And then dy, right? We need to find out what our bounds for dy are. So dy, y goes from zero to 80. So zero to 80, that's where we're gonna plug right in there. And now we have this integral, but we have x and y. And if we integrate this, we're gonna lay an x in our answer. So we need to get rid of this x. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go with this equation and we're gonna rearrange it to get x by itself. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use blue marker. So we're starting out with y is equal to 1 fifth 400 uh, minus x squared. Okay, so now we need to simplify this to get x by itself. So let's multiply the five over to get five y is equal to 400 minus x squared. And then we're gonna keep the x squared by itself. So x squared is gonna become minus five y uh, plus 400. So then we're going to take the square root of this and going to get x is equal to the square root of minus negative 5y plus 400. So technically this would be plus or minus, but we kind of accounted for that when we added this 2. So we don't need to worry about that in this case. But if, uh, yeah, just make sure you uh, keep your math correct. So let's go ahead and plug in this x here. So now we have the integral 0 to 80, y squared, square root of negative 5y plus 400, dy. So we have this integral now, and it's very complicated. And um, I don't really, to be honest, I don't know how to solve this integral. Uh, I plugged it in a simple lab, and it gave me an accept. So all I have to say is plug this into your calculator, plug this into simple lab. I mean, we're engineers, right? You're supposed to have a calculator. If you, you probably want to get something like this on the FD exam. Um, but I mean, I guess if you're given it, I guess, learn your integration techniques. I'm not that great at integration. So, of course, but if you plug this into your calculator, you're gonna get i of x is equal to 3.12 times 10 to the sixth millimeters to the fourth. And that's your answer to the problem right there. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem. Uh, it's just about making sure to get your dA right, being able to rearrange this equation and get the integral correct. Uh, so if you have any trouble with this, I have a whole lot of videos on this uh, topic on my channel, so check that out. And uh, I have a playlist, so check that out. And yeah, ask any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.